Mary Shelley's Frankenstein and the Frankenstein monster. You know him well. When you look at him, you instantly recall those frightful childhood nights watching him on television and shambling along some dank, cavernous hellhole. You remember his slow gait, the outstretched arms, the powerful grip of his undead hands. He lurked in every shadow, every dark, secret place in town. He was under your bed and in your closet. You remember the malevolence in his eyes. He wanted to send you straight to hell. That was the part that really chilled your soul. For he had emerged from hell itself, this titan of darkness, and he had no more sympathy for you than a reptile that knows it must feed. And no matter that Hollywood put him in oversized boots, you would never outrun him. He would always emerge again from the gloom somewhere else, an eternal, undying creature of evil. Fear tingled in your scrotum and crawled up your spine. You're a coward. The words spit like venom through your fevered dream. You couldn't escape him. A creaking door swings open and there he stands, calm, dark, and incredibly patient. He would wait forever, just for an opportunity to get his green, clammy hands around your throat and begin slowly squeezing the life out of you. And which evil incarnation frightened you more? Boris Karloff, Lon Chaney Jr., Bela Lugosi, Glenn Strange, Christopher Lee, and dozens more have donned the graveyard pallor and stalked the cellulite shadows. Mary Shelley's modern Prometheus of 1817 has endured beyond her expectations. This is a horror story. Horror in its primal form. Vengeful, calculating, and incredibly powerful. Just the way Mary Shelley envisioned him. He dreams of electricity, this monster from the darkness. These galvanized shadows that jerk in his mind like dark puppets on a string. All phantoms struggling to get free. When he wakes up, he becomes a pop culture maestro. A comic book, a toy, a pulp story, a screen treatment, a colorful toy, cartoon. He can't escape his destiny. Here is the lesson of Prometheus. Steal fire from heaven and suffer eternal torments as daily the great winged creature comes to feed on your liver. And each morning the act begins anew. It's an existential punishment of unrelenting agony. The monster and his maker understand this torment very well. <laughs> Something evil lurks in the darkness. The monster is eternal, reimagined with each generation, and waiting and watching with a cold, vengeful heart. See the tall figure of a man in his grave clothes, an unholy fire smoldering in his yellow eyes, an outcast deprived of love, self-educated, constantly hungry, and constantly hunted. He waits forever in those dark places where dwell the ghouls. And very soon, when he finds you, the cold kiss of the grave will be your epitaph. Frankenstein's monster is all too human, and that's what makes him so scary. He's just like you and I. <laughs>